Hello, we're going to be looking at a demonstration of the PMISE tool. PMISE is used for data de-identification and it was developed by ISTSA. First of all, let's examine a case that PMISE would come in handy. Let's say you have a dataset that you want to use on an algorithm that runs on an external cluster-like Databricks. You want to use the data, but at the same time, you want to preserve their identity. This is where PMISE comes in. We have our data sources here, and inside the trust cluster, we use the PMISE tool to de-identify them. The de-identified data are transferred in the untrusted cluster that we run our algorithm. The algorithm results are taken back to the trusted cluster and by the PMISE reverse procedure we re-identify them and take the output with the algorithm results in the original form and identity. Note that in the reserve procedure, reverse procedure, sorry, the original CSV file is also needed. The demonstration will be on the Databricks notebook at first. Here we have our input CSV file path and the CSV looks like this. We define our path here and start running the blocks of code. We get the files from the file paths. The CSV, as you seen before, looks like this. We initialize PMISE. Read the files. And we execute and save the output. So, the output looks something like this. We have the columns with different names and we have numbers instead of the original values. This is the de-identification procedure. Now, let's take a look at the reverse procedure the re-identification. We have run an algorithm with uh, the de-identified data and we have this result. This data set with numbers instead of the original values. Now we go back to our Databricks notebook and here we define the reverse file path, the path of this file. Here is the original CSV file path that we used at the beginning. So we run again the notebook. Take the paths. This is a preview of the de-identified CSV that has the results of the algorithm. Again, we initialize PMISE. Read the files. Then execute and save the output. So here, as you can see, we have this file with the original values. The numbers have turned again with the use of the original CSV file and the results file to the original form.
We can also use the PMIS tool through a command line uh, interface. So we have to run PMIS and the path of our file. So here is our de-identified data, as in the Databricks notebook we have numbers instead of the original data. And for the reverse procedure we have to put pmise minus r the path of the reverse file with the de-identified data, this file right here, and the path of the original file. So this is a re-identified dataset. The results from the algorithm with their original values. So as we can see, PMISE is a safe solution for data de-identification and privacy preserving. 
Thank you.